what's up, what's up, everybody? Subscribe below, you know. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. And let's get straight to it. I'm gonna be here to address all the Lomachenko fans that claim that Devin Haney is not ready and that I'm reaching and what did Devin Haney do in order to earn a, a shot at Lomachenko? Well, what did Corolla do to earn a shot at Lomachenko? And I'm sorry, my bad, it's not Lomachenko, it's not Lomachenko, it's Nomachenko, as Devin Haney stated. He went from Nomas, Nomaschenko to Nomachenko. Now, Nomachenko is a great fighter, but what's wrong with us wanting to see the fight? Obviously, Lomachenko is in his prime. Devin Haney is still green. But like Devin Haney said, if I'm an easy fight and I'm a green fighter, what beat me like all the rest of the green fighters you beat? Put me on that list. If, some, if I'm such an easy fight, however, Lomachenko called Tank Davis as pound for pound number one on Twitter. But he, he not responding to anything that Devin Haney says. You know, he called him Nomachenko. He not putting any more respect on his name. Matter of fact, he disrespected his name. So he wants all the smoke. But Lomachenko, on the other hand, he ain't looking for the smoke. So that being said, I just want to see the fight. Like, what's wrong with us wanting to see the fight? People act like Lomachenko is unbeatable. Luke Campbell was a fighter that's not even ranked that high in the lightweight division. He was ranked number five when Lomachenko fought him. And he won like four to five rounds. Some people had him winning six rounds against Lomachenko. So if Devin Haney is a better talent than a Luke Campbell and is undefeated and he his number one mandatory and Lomachenko just won a vacant belt, why not fight a man and prove you that you could be a Devin Haney since you know Lomachenko already came out and stated his dream match is to fight a Floyd Mayweather. So fight Floyd Mayweather prodigy. And that's Devin Haney. If Floyd, if Floyd Mayweather is the Michael Jordan of boxing, then Devin Haney is possibly LeBron. So why not be the closest thing to a Floyd Mayweather? Be his um, prodigy, be his student. However, he not looking like he want any smoke with Devin Haney. Meanwhile, Devin Haney is calling out Tank Davis. He said Floyd Mayweather is smarter than that. Then uh, put Tank Davis in the ring with me. He also stated that uh, he wants to fight with Comey. He actually wanted to fight Comey uh, instead of his last fight. However, you know, obviously Bob Arum didn't let that happen. And he wanted to fight Lopez. Lopez went a different direction to fight Comey. So the man want all the smoke. He ain't just asking for Lomachenko. He want all the smoke. But like I said, you know, people getting mad at us just because we want to see the fight. We in the sport of boxing to see the best versus the best. If Lomachenko is one of the best, we want to see him in the ring against the best. So what's wrong with us wanting to see Devin Haney versus Lomachenko? Like I stated, I said that fight is 50-50. Obviously, Devin right hand is accurate and he has good timing on it and he's fast. However, he's an orthodox fighter. So Lomachenko could perform his favorite move when he pivots to the right. Unlike he uh, couldn't do that with uh, Lou Campbell. So what's the matter here? Why you don't get in the ring? With a, with, a, with a Devin Haney so you could secure fights with Comey and Lopez and Tank Davis in the future without worrying about the Devin Haney fight and worrying about the WBC mandating that fight and stripping you of your title. Unless you're planning on vacating the title claiming you don't need the Devin Haney fight like you claimed you didn't need the Salido rematch. Like Salido beat you. How are you going to tell me the Salido fight don't matter when Salido was the only man that beat you in the ring as a professional? I remember when Lomachenko lost in the amateurs. He only had one loss, right? He claimed that 
uh, it was so important to him, so he fought that same dude like three times after that and beat him, right? However, you have your professional career just started and somebody already took you to the Mexican school, but she didn't want to revisit the Mexican school. I tell you why he didn't want to fight Salido again, because he don't he didn't think he could graduate from the Mexican school. He's used to fighting technical. So that being said, he claimed the Salido fight didn't matter to him and it's not important and he passed that. When Salido was a champion that beat him. And since he's on the hope list, he lost his second title fight and got a, a third, a, another title shot against Gary Russell and they fought for a vacant belt. Now my question is, if Devin Haney, even though he's the number one mandatory, and he doesn't deserve a shot at Lomachenko, right? If that's the case, how did Lomachenko earn a shot against Salido with his second professional fight? How did Lomachenko earn a shot against Gary Russell to fight for a vacant belt when he lost his second professional match? Now you tell me, what did Lomachenko do to earn that shit? But y'all talking about what what Devin Haney do? Devin Haney is Floyd May Floyd Mayweather prodigy. Devin Haney just fought the number two ranked fighter at the WBC and dominated his ass. Made him seem like he didn't belong in the ring with him. That's what you're supposed to do when you step up. So Devin Haney proved himself time and time again. Matter of fact, he earned the shot more than Lomachenko did when he fought Salido and lost, then fought Gary Russell. Like how you lose a title shot your second fight and still be approved to get another title shot. Talking about benefits being on the hope list. You get labeled as the greatest Man, I swear, YouTube be messing with me. Every time I go live, my connection is good. They talking about my connection is slow. I got four, four, four bars. Loma has been poster child for the hopeless since he became a pro. Right, like I said, the man didn't earn a title shot his first time going to for a title nor his second time. But they telling us, what did Devin Haney do to earn a title shot? What did Lomachenko do to earn a title shot? How about that? What did Corolla do to earn a title shot? He fought Mar Mariaga coming off a loss at 126. And Mariaga moved up from 126 to 130 to fight Lomachenko. How did Mariaga earn a title shot versus Lomachenko when he just lost and had to move up and wait? Like, come on now, like, don't play that game with me. I know my boxing, so, like I said, knowledge is power, like my man just pulled up. Let's get it lit, what's up, Aki? Dead game boxing, facts, facts all day. So that's what I'm saying, you know, I'm basing what I'm saying on facts. So what's wrong with us wanting to see Devin Haney versus Lomachenko? Like I said, that's a 50-50 fight. I know damn well when, Loma, when, when Devin Haney Goes to his man strength and more so in his prime when he like 24, right? Lomachenko ain't going to fight him then. Lomachenko going to claim he's old. Lomachenko don't want to even fight the veteran Manny Pacquiao. Turned down that fight a year ago. Before Manny showed that he still got it and beat a Keith Thurman. Manny turned down, I mean, Lomachenko turned down the Manny Pacquiao fight when Manny Pacquiao actually lost to Jeff Horn. Knowledge is power. Yeah, uh, Lomachenko spoke on that. I mean, uh, uh, Devin Haney spoke on Tank Davis, and he stated that Floyd Mayweather won't, is, is smarter than that. He's not going to let that fight happen because obviously he's seen the sparring and shit. So my man said boxing is just like politics. Yeah, it's, it's so much agenda in the sport of boxing and like i said that's click on the like button too and subscribe below click on the notification bell but that's why i made my youtube channel because i saw so much corrupt in the sport of boxing like i used to be just a regular fan and like i'm like man what the hell is this they overpraise certain fighters 
just because they're on the hope list and the, the fighters that really have the goods they don't praise them as much you know what i mean so i had to make a youtube channel and call the bs out so like i said you got max kellerman saying tyson fury fights the best competition and floyd mayweather cherry picked his career it's like bro come on man like the dude fighting a fighter that's ranked number 48 after he fought a fighter that's ranked number 63 and won the lineal title back from that. And you comparing him to Floyd Mayweather that fought uh, fighters on the pound for pound list, that fought most of the champions throughout the boxing history, you comparing him to that man? So it's just bullshit, right? My man, Knowledge is Power, said, What happened to Dylan E. White? B sample result, bro. It ain't coming now, man. Man, that shit. Obviously, they know it's dirty. Eddie Hearn already came out and stated, If the A sample is dirty, most likely the B sample is dirty. So he's already kind of throwing it out there that, Hey, look, man, that shit is already dirty. He just wanna, don't want to put it out there because they all in this shit together. Mashroom, Eddie Hearn, Dylan E. White, British Boxing Bird of Control. They made that decision to save some money. Obviously, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn most likely threw the Board of Boxing Control in the UK some money under the table to make that decision. But hey, that's what we're dealing with in the sport of boxing. It's just corrupt, right? But speaking of Devin Haney, like I said, you know, he fought Abdul Alava and he like destroyed a man. I mean, I was thinking at, at one point, I was just like, man, is this dude even that good? But he was actually a good fighter. It's just that Devin Haney made his competition look like nobody. It's like Roy Jones stated, you know, it ain't that I'm fighting no, it's not that I'm fighting nobody, it's just that I'm making them look like I'm. they nobodies. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all know Roy Jones, then y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all must have forgot. But uh, Devin Haney, like I stated, he is the good, so I wanna see Lomachenko step up and fight him. Lomachenko stated he wanted to stay busy before the Kome and Lopez winner because that fight won't happen to like what March or May. So hey, Devin Haney is here. You know what I mean? So to take that fight. Um, Tank Davis pro probably will fight you in between. Manny Pacquiao will fight you in between. So Lomachenko and Bob Aaron was trying to fight George in. Uh, I forgot where oh, I forgot where he was trying to fight him at Australia, Australia yeah he was trying to fight George in Australia because that's where he from like Lomachenko can't even sell tickets in the US you gotta take him to George, to, to Australia in order to sell and obviously it's an opponent that's, right, that's not ranked on the top 10 he's not his mandatory and Lomachenko just won a vacant belt so instead of taking on a tough task after an easy fight, even though it wasn't an easy fight, obviously, but it was supposed to be an easy fight. And y'all claim Lomachenko is pound for pound number one. He struggled with it, man, right? Then he stated that he wanted to fight this dude as a fight in between and got a huge backlash. So now that Devin Haney is heavily calling him out, now that Manny Pacquiao really wanted to fight, now Lomachenko came out and stated, oh, you know what? Nah, I don't want no smoke. I'm going to wait it out. I decided to wait and just wait for the Kome and Lopez winner. He planning on playing safe, which I'm fine with that. You know, it's cool. You, you want to wait it out? It's cool. Become undisputed. But when you become undisputed, you better not move down to 130 when the competition got high on 135. You better stay at the division and not vacate the belts. Because why would you vacate the belts? Because if you keep the belts, you will get the bigger purse against Devin Haney, against Tank Davis. Because obviously Tank Davis is a big star. So if you have all the four belts, you will have a lot of leverage. You know what I'm saying? Galama said, Dylan White B sample in the same area. <laughs> In the same area of 55. Oh, shit. It's in the alien area. That's what I'm talking about. Ta tax transportation. <laughs> nah, man. For real, though. That's that's what it's looking like. They making it feel like it is. It's in the alien area. Like, come on now, man. It, it takes three days or a week max to test this B sample. 
knowledge is power stated he has to choose to fight his mandatory exactly don't vacate the belts don't maneuver and vacate the wbc belt just because devin haney is your mandatory and keep the belt that tank davis is your mandatory for hell no nah that ain't what it was gonna happen because i know what lomachenko is trying to do see devin haney is struggling to make the way and he stated that he can't make 135 for too too much longer and since Lomachenko don't want to move up to the 140 pounds, even though he fought at 132 his whole amateur career almost, right? He don't want to move up to 140. Then you better fight Devin Haney now. Don't wait until he can't make the weight no more and move up and wait. You know what I mean? So fight him now and you better not wait. So like I said, I got no problem with Lomachenko wanting to wait and not fight Lomachenko next. But if you're going to do that, like I said, just don't uh, run after to the 130 pound and avoid Devin Haney after the Lopez and Comey winner. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you got all the belts and you're the money man in the division, obviously Tank Davis is. But I'm stating like there's a lot of hype behind him, even though he can't sell tickets. It's okay. He got all the four belts. He got a lot of casual fans. Um, you know, he ain't looking like the Matrix anymore. <laughs> so he want to keep the Matrix image. However, Devin Haney, you know, he felt like he could expose Lomachenko. So let's see it, you know. At the end of the the man went from the Matrix to no Machenko. From no Moss to no Machenko. No smoke. Lomachenko. Ain't, ain't that a trick but like I said time and time again we just want to see the best versus the best and since Lomachenko is one of the best let's see the smoke Manny versus Floyd yeah man hey I know y'all saw my previous video I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a lot of videos so uh, like I said you know keep on the keep on the lookout for my videos that I'm dropping on my channel but um, yeah Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayo there in Tokyo I mean it's Tokyo in Japan, um, they're talking about his exhibition match, which I don't know. Manny Pacquiao could easily make 20 million, and Floyd could easily make 20 million from that exhibition match. So, ah uh, man, like Floyd, why you had to do this, bro? Like I'm trying to see Errol Spence get the Manny Pacquiao fight. I'm trying to see um, Errol Spence like become a star, but Floyd Mayweather, I don't know what he's doing. Like, I know you're trying to make your money, and I ain't hating, but, like, we're trying to see a superstar in the sport of boxing. And, Loma, I mean, Errol Spence got the Cowboys behind him, uh, a $5 billion engine pushing him, right? So he could easily become the, a star if he beats a Manny Pacquiao and fights a Terrence Crawford after that, man. That'd be huge for the sport of boxing. So, Floyd, bro, you made your money, man. Like, let, let Errol Spence eat. You know what I mean? Stop, stop. Stopping Errol Spence from getting his bread. Keith Thurman versus Crawford need to happen. Man, you know, you know damn well Terrence Crawford, I mean, Keith Thurman is not fighting Terrence Crawford. He didn't want to fight him when he was undefeated, and he ain't going to want to fight him now. Like I said, Keith Thurman, he was just talking the talk, but he couldn't walk the walk. Like I said, he was claiming, you know, he wanted to welcome Danny Garcia to the welterweight division. But he didn't want to welcome Terrence Crawford to the welterweight division. He told Terrence, you got to prove yourself. And then when Terrence proved himself and got a belt, he told Terrence, we'll fight Amir Khan. Amir Khan went, I mean, Terrence Crawford went and beat Amir Khan, then, oh, uh, fight uh, 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 Kel Brook. It's like, bro, who is you? Like, you think you his manager? Either you want to fight him or you don't. You claimed you wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather for the legacy, but you don't want to fight Terrence Crawford, the number one pound for pound for the legacy. So we all know Keith Thurman be capping. Floyd only care about Floyd. Spence and the others. Floyd can start. Floyd is cold. Yeah, man. Floyd care about his pockets. But like I said, you know, Errol Spence better do something about it. He better call Floyd out. He be like, yo, I do an exhibition match with your ass. You out here trying to stop my bread. You know, so nobody wants to fight Crawford. He just retired. Hell no. Nah. Errol 
Phil Spence. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man down. We coming for that, for that smoke. You know, I like Crawford. I ain't gonna run. He one of my favorite fighters. So is Errol Spence. That's a 50-50 fight in my opinion. I'm slightly leaning toward, toward Errol Spence, but I could easily change my mind depending on how they look on their pre next fights. If Terrence Crawford would get uh, the Kell Brook fight and how Errol Spence looks against maybe a Manny Pacquiao or uh, a Sean Porter. But like I said, it's a great fight. That's the fight of the decade and the fight for the pound for pound number one spot, in my opinion. And that's just a fact, really. Like they they one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. What Floyd got to do with Errol's bread? Man, hey, what you mean? Errol Smith's trying to fight Manny Pacquiao. If Manny Pacquiao could make 20 million fighting Floyd in an exhibition match for three rounds, you think he gonna fight Errol Spence for 20 million? In a real fight where Errol Spence could possibly retire him? Hell no. So by Floyd Mayweather pulling that move, it's gonna stop Errol Spence from getting his bread and, and being the hell out of, the, I mean, being the hell out of Manny Pacquiao and making hella money, you feel me? Uh, my man said, Andy Ruiz still partying. What, what's wrong with him? Man, I hope he's not, man. I hope he's not, bro. Like, I mean, I made a video on that, and actually, Andrew Ruiz responded during the press conference um, in up in Saudi Arabia, and he stated, "Oh, I'm not partying. Uh, don't believe the critics." So I'm like, "Damn, I'm a critic now. I thought I was uh, supporting the movement." <laughs> You know what I mean? So he was like, don't believe the critics, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, he's still looking like he partying. Hopefully, he start training. He still got a minute. I hope he don't lose too much weight. I hope he comes into the fight like he came into the last fight. You got to be, you know, some people are built like Anthony Joshua. Some people are built like Deontay Wilder with they skinny. Some people are built like um, Ruiz where they stocky. So he shouldn't lose too much weight. And just, if, if he gonna lose weight, lose like 10 pounds, no more, you know? Manny never fight, never never fight in Spence. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. He wanna fight uh, Mikey Garcia. I don't understand how Mikey Garcia gonna get a shot after he got the biggest ass whooping of his career, biggest ass whooping of the year, and, he, and then he gets a Manny Pacquiao, one of the biggest fights, like, come on now. I'm nervous Wilder lose to King Kong. Man, Wilder should have took on that rematch, bro. He should have. But hey, you know, he want that smoke. Now, we'll see if King Kong is going to be able to make the right adjustments for Deontay Wilder. I got Deontay Wilder. I hope he win. Then get the Ruiz fight. I don't even want him to fight that Duck of Fury. That man ran to ESPN to fight two bumps and say, oh, King Kong is 147 years old. Like, bro, King Kong at 147 could beat Otto Willing and uh, Tom Swartz in the same night. Fuck is you talking about? I'm talking about Otto Willing, ranked number 48, and Tom Swartz, a fighter that's ranked number 63. My man said if Manny fight Floyd in, the, in Tokyo, he should vacate the belt. <laughs> ah, man. I, I mean, I, I want to see Errol Spence fight for the vacant belt against maybe a Keith Thurman or Danny Garcia or maybe a Terrence Scott. but um, that being said I don't know I don't know they're not gonna strip Manny I'll tell you that they're gonna let him keep the title but we'll see like I said Floyd didn't talk about too much maybe it's a fight where Manny is actually gonna like watch Floyd and then they're going to do a face-off. Floyd going to have an exhibition match, another one just to prepare for Pacquiao. And then Pacquiao going to step up and have an exhibition match with him. Because if you ask me, that exhibition match will favor Pacquiao because it's only three rounds. Floyd may able to take his time to figure you out and make adjustments. So he can't even really do that. He got to go into fight mode and start swinging and shit. You know, just react on what you see and really you can't study your opponent too long because it's only three rounds. You got to let shit go. You got to let punches fly. So that being said, it's going to be benefit Manny Pacquiao since he's the combination puncher and the volume puncher. But with Floyd Mayweather's skill level and timing, you know, he could probably, um, obviously, uh, Manny Pacquiao going to hesitate because 
every mistake you make, you're gonna pay. However, Floyd Thomas is gonna be off. He haven't fought a real fighter since 2015. Conor McGregor, he didn't even train for that fight. He was in the strip club throwing dollars and shit. You know. My man said, what's good, homie? What's up, Aki? He said, what do you think about Devin Haney's performance and his jab outstanding? And he really set the pace. Yeah, Devin Haney, man, is looking like LeBron. Like I said, if Floyd Mayweather is Michael Jordan of the, of the sport of boxing, then Devin Haney is definitely looking like LeBron. So can he be LeBron in the, in the sport of boxing? We'll see. Now, I believe he has the goods. I believe he could even possibly be a Lomachenko while he's green. But Lomachenko, I'm sorry, Nomachenko, looking like he want no smoke. And he want to get out of Smoke City. And that's the 135-pound division. He's looking like he want to go down and wait. But now even Tank Davis moved up. So he don't even have an excuse to move, to, to move down to 130. So uh, Lomachenko, with his timing, uh, his skill level, his speed, and how like his dedication. And I like his mindset. He's a kid that act mature, bro. I, Devin Haney be acting like he 30 years old. I be like, bro, damn. He be acting like he's money man and shit, the way he be talking, the way he be uh, more so acting. Like, talk is one thing, but your action shows sh shows how mature you are. His action, his dedication, uh, his sh him showing that he's a smart businessman, you know, it's gonna take him far. However, he must get him a trainer like, I mean, like a Floyd Mayweather senior, I don't know why he left Floyd Mayweather senior. Like, how you gonna leave Floyd Mayweather senior when you a Floyd Mayweather student? You know, that's not the smartest move. But like I said, Lomachenko, if he want the smoke, you better fight Lomachenko now. You know, if I mean, I don't know if I said Lomachenko, Devin Haney, but Lomachenko, he in his prime, he claimed he on the fast track. So if you're on the fast track, you better get these big fights with Devin Haney. Manny Pacquiao, Tank Davis, Lopez, all these guys, fight them now. You already missed out on the Mikey Garcia fight because you claimed it's your shoulder. You know, your shoulder was injured. You claim that the Manny Pacquiao fight, you don't want to retire an old man. Then Manny Pacquiao beat a fighter you won't dare go in the ring against to keep them in at 147. You don't even want to fight at 140. You feel me? So if you ain't winning to fight Manny Pacquiao, a veteran fighter, if you ain't willing to do that and you want to be as great as a Manny Pacquiao and you're not willing to be a 41-year-old Manny Pacquiao and you want a fast track, you better fight the Devin Haney's of the world. You better fight the Lopez, the Shakur Stevenson of the world now. Bob Arum came out talking about, oh, that fight going to happen in the near future between Shakur and, and Lomachenko. He'd rather make that fight than a Devin Haney fight and Devin Haney's still green. I'm like, what? Devin Haney and Shakur turn pro around the same time and why not fight in both however obviously like i stated time and time again he rather lomachenko lose to his fighter but the million dollar question is he gonna do shakur stevenson if he beat lomachenko the way he did rigandia when he beat donair when he shit it all over rigandia back in the day because he beat his money fighter donair you feel me Man said uh, Floyd ain't fought in four years. That's what I'm saying. He gonna be off against the exhibition match versus Manny Pacquiao. He better not leave on. He, he ain't gonna leave on top. <laughs> Johnson, yeah, he ain't looking like he gonna leave on top. Yeah, he. I, I, we know one thing for sure. He ain't leaving undefeated. And undefeated ain't a big deal if you fight everybody. But Lomachenko is out here fighting Corollas, and he was trying to fight another Mariaga like a George that's not even ranked. And then since he can't fight a fighter like that, since he got backlash for ducking Devin Haney and Manny Pacquiao, now he claimed he went to wait it out and wait for Lopez and Comey with him. So it's, it's, you know, the politics of boxing. If you got the complexion for the protection on some Tyson Fury and Lomachenko shit, you all good. Uh, knowledge is power. Manny's full of Myth. He not getting tired. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, David? Uh, what's up, Aki? But 
Yeah, Manny Pacquiao, like I said, uh, I already said it, you know. In a, in a three-round fight, and a Manny Pacquiao, y'all saw how he was looking in them early rounds against uh, Keith Thurman. He looked like he still had his speed, his power, his footwork. Uh, he could take a punch, so I'm like, shit, Floyd, you fight that in three rounds, and you your timing is off, and your, your re reflex is kind of off. She, it's good. I don't know. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao might give it to him. So, like I said, it's not gonna go on your record though. But people will will point it out and be like, man, y'all saw what Manny Pacquiao did to Floyd on the exhibition match. I told y'all he could beat Floyd, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, y'all know, y'all know the pack tar is gonna come out of nowhere. You know what I mean? Knowledge is power. Dang, what happened to your comment? I think. Oh yeah, by the way, if you, it ain't even me, look, I ain't doing nothing, right, but, oh yeah, I'm actually dropping a video on that, it says Canelo oh, versus Charlo, I said Kovalev, I thought you said Kovalev, but, um, yeah, hopefully in the future, now Canelo looking like he's gonna leave Golden Boy after the Kovalev fight, and might sign to Eddie Hearn, I believe, or maybe Al Heyman, but more likely Eddie Hearn, because obviously he with his own. Now that being said, um, the Kovalev fight, there's no catch weight. However, I heard there's a 10 pound dehydration clause. So I'm dropping a video on that. Uh, there's also talks of Ryan Garcia leaving Golden Boy as well. And I'm like, man, what the hell is Oscar, the Lord, Oscar doing with this, these guys? Like why, why everybody wanna leave him all of a sudden? But he obviously robbing the bank with Canelo Alvarez. Apparently, he using Canelo Alvarez money uh, that they giving him to promote his fighters, to to promote Golden Boy fighters. So Canelo Alvarez got his own promotion company. The Zone part of the deal, part of Canelo Alvarez signing with him, they are gonna promote some of his fighters and they gave him some cash for that. So what Golden Boy be doing? They be promoting their own fighters. So Canelo Alvarez found out and he was like, oh hell no. I'm out here getting hustled and shit. You think Canelo will go to 160 after Kovalev fight? Hell yeah, man. He ain't, bro, he's just only going to 175 to beat the hell out of Kovalev real quick because he saw Kovalev very vulnerable to the body. And he's old and he, he can't even take a shot no more. You know, he get hit. You know, when Canelo, obviously he went up to... 175, but Canelo could go crack the hell out of Kovalev a couple times, and with his speed, he gonna hurt Kovalev. I, I think Kovalev, Canelo will stop Kovalev. He just gotta watch out early on to get hit with nothing big by Kovalev. But Canelo got good head movement and good chin, but getting hit by the crush of Kovalev at 175 is a different story. But there's a dehydration clause, I believe, so he shouldn't be worrying about the weight no, that that much, because Canelo Alvarez fought Amir Khan. There was a catch weight at 155. He came to the fight at 180 it's like that or 185 is shit like that like come on bro like <laughs> he comes at 175 he just don't have to cut weight so he's gonna come to the fight like 190 so he's gonna be as big as a kovalev as far as weight now obviously it's not natural weight like kovalev is kovalev is a natural 175 pounder but i got canelo winning that fight he's fresher he's younger got better talent at this point um Andre Ward, he printed out the blueprint of how to beat a Kovalev. He just beat the body. And that's why I was mad as fuck when Andy, Andre, Anthony Yard fought him. I'm like, bro, like, from round one, you should have been banging the body. You could have stopped him in the eighth round when you had him hurt, if you actually did that. But I don't know what he was thinking, trying to box, and like, you were burning yourself out because when Kovalev was fainting him and throwing the jab, and him avoiding it, obviously he was doing well, but he was burning himself out and he was carrying too much muscle. And he never been 12 rounds in my, uh, I think, when he fought Kovalev. Uh, now this is power, Danny Jacobs smokes, smokes crap, the crack, hold on, hold on. Nah, nah, he wants Charlo. <laughs> hey man, damn, I'm from Brooklyn, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jacob, my guy. But yeah, you can't, you know, Charlo, Nobody really wants to smoke with Charlo. Like, Charlo and Andre, you know, he wants to smoke. But before, when he was offered that fight, he turned it down. You feel me? 
Charlo and you know people say Jacob punked him. In my opinion, it was respectful. Charlo told him to his face, drop your fight, I drop mine, and we could fight next. How is that being called he punked him? Like I don't get it. Charlo told him, I'ma drop my opponent to fight you next. So um people just hate Charlo because he's you know talk a lot of shit. But like I said, he ain't no punk though. He ain't no punk. And he wants all the smoke. What's next for who? Charlo. Uh, or Devin Haney. But if you're talking about Charlo, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, the winner of G Gennady Golovkin and Devin Yachenko, I'm hoping Devin Yachenko beat Golovkin so we could see that shit. That could be a possibility. However, for Devin Haney, he won a fight on, what's that dude on the car? It's, it's the KSI. KSI won a fight on the... Um, on the on his undercard, he wanna fight on the undercard, Devin Haney, since that fight is on the zone. So, um, you know, that's a smart move. I like how Devin Haney thinks and moves. So I believe he just wanna stay active, fight any top fighter. He, he I mean Ryan Garcia, I know damn well he don't, he don't wanna fight Devin Haney. He just duck Dono for one, one million, allegedly. Uh Golden Boys, that's what they claim. However, Ryan Garcia claim that they didn't notify him but it's like come on bro You're like that's your team how they not gonna notify you if, even if they don't want you to fight him they still gonna notify you right um that being said ryan garcia want to fight on canelo on the car though while Devin haney want to fight on ksi on the car but that's a lot of cattle fans so if you could get an impressive knock on that fight that will definitely um bring a lot of light on Devin haney that's the arrow spin. For the it's auto. But uh, now that being said, let me respond to the comments real quick. Yeah, Charles Boo Boo, that's the arrow spin versus uh, Terrence Crawford version of the middleweight division. Like I said, that's going to be a tough fight. I don't even know who to pick in that fight. Uh, I ran said Devin Haney. Uh, Devin Haney, like I said, he probably fight a top contender, whoever wanted to fight him on the KSI undercard that's coming up on the zone. <laughs> One, and Broner, uh, what's that fighter? Fuck, oh, man, he's fighting on, I forgot his name. He's fighting on the, on Taylor versus Pregris, Pregris um, fight, like that's coming up. I forgot Lee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Broner might be fighting Lee. <laughs> Jacksonville. Oh shit. Jacksonville in the house in Florida. Hey, y'all got it made in Florida. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. What's up? What's up? I can salute all day. New media. Shout out to LDBC. Uh, <laughs> he said, let me get the ranch. Hey, yo, yo, the live body be off. I'm about to get disconnected because I'm hitting a dead zone. But you can always re-watch re the live. But I'm definitely going live tomorrow. And, um, you know, appreciate the support. I'll be seeing you in the comment section. Regress versus Broner. Man, Broner don't want that smoke, man. Man, Broner got mental issues right now. Broner be claiming he want to kill himself. Broner be claiming that he going to kill everybody. <laughs> I'm like, shit. How can you be a millionaire and still talk about killing yourself? Like, I don't know what Broner be doing that shit for. All day. Be Howard. I fuck with you, though. Um, but, yeah. Like I said, with Devin Haney, however, you know, the sky's the limit. He got a lot of potential. He's growing. You know, he could easily become the undisputed champion at 135 and move up. If Lomachenko gets all the belts and is willing to fight him next. You know, I like Devin Haney though. I like his mindset. He not planning on waiting for Lomachenko. He planning on staying busy, looking impressive, calling out no, no code. I don't want to hear no more um, the Matrix because he ain't looking like the Matrix versus the top fighters. You know what I'm saying. ass in the ring with uh, Kel Brook. 
Westbrook after that will have enough buzz to get a Crawford fight because right now a lot of people try to say Crawford duck and kill Brook and it's like bro come on bro like y'all know damn well if Crawford comes out and smokes Kell Brook y'all gonna blame Kell Brook is old Kell Brook is not the same version of, of himself that fought Errol Spence because Errol Spence broke one of his arable uh, bone while GGG did the same to his other eye but it's like you know so why y'all want to see the fight if y'all if y'all if y'all think it's an easy fight don't claim Terrence Crawford is ducking him like I said it's top rank they don't they don't have enough money for that fight but that's why Terrence Crawford should leave top rank the hell alone bruh like them top rank I ain't looking out for you man top rank don't want to see you succeed they want to see Lomachenko become the man but click the like button appreciate y'all for tuning in and click on the notification every time we go live GGG versus Charlo. I got Charlo ass out with an uppercut. You know, I y'all know what time it is with that. That's why GGG don't want no smoke. He loves He ain't want no smoke with no big dog. He don't want no smoke with them Texas bros. Like I said, at the end of the day, you know, them broskies in Texas, they don't play. That heat, that's why they be wanting to smoke all the, they, they be wanting all the smoke is because there's too much heat in Texas. Sometimes that could get to your head, you know, in training camp, man. Try training at, at 110 degrees. That shit hard as hell. You probably pass out. That's what Errol, That's how Errol Spence trained with them uh, Charlo brothers. But like I said, my man, th th thanks for the live, fam. Can't wait for the new uploads. Appreciate it, fam. Smash the like button. Appreciate it, B. Howard. Appreciate it. Knowledge is power. Salute. To all my keys, subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't I listen to the casual fans or old media. New media in the house. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to everyone that keeps it real. Shout out to everyone that doesn't base sports on, on skin color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm appreciate it. Be Howard. I'm rocking with you too, Aki. And um, I'm uploading a lot of videos, so stay tuned, and peace, and we out of here.